Welcome to Free Fiddle Lessons. Today we're going to learn a New England tune um, by the composer Ralph Page, composer and dance caller, um, that he wrote for our legendary, wonderful New England piano player Bob McQuillan, who uh, passed away a few years ago. The tune is called McQuillan's Squeeze Box, and it's in the key of C. <laughs> So this is a lovely march, um, and we don't play a lot of tunes, or I don't teach a lot of tunes here in the key of C, um, so it's an extra treat to get to play uh, in the key of C here. Uh, C has no sharps or flats. We're going to have F naturals, which is probably the thing we're most unused to. Um, so that's a low second finger on the um, D string and a low first finger in between the normal first finger position and the, um, I was going to say the fret, the, uh, that little bit, which I know what it's called, <laughs> my brain is leaving me, help, um, the nut, there we go, um, between the first finger position and the nut on the, um, on the E string. So, now that I've started this video off so well, um, Let's actually play a C scale, probably would help. So that's a C, third finger on the G string. D, E, that F natural. G is a stretch. A, B, and C natural. And then if we were to start continuing out, we get that F natural. Sorry, it was a little flat. and then we could stretch for the C if we wanted. We won't go that high, good news. Um, so, those are pickup notes. First phrase. And this is one of those tunes that just kind of stretches out, the phrases feel very long, and the repeats, quote unquote, of the A and the B part really just feel to me like an extended, um, extended part especially in the B part where um, the, it doesn't kind of go back to the feeling of resolution. Anyway, um, we'll take that first phrase again with the pickup notes. notes. So on G. And 
the second, uh, the third phrase, sorry, starts on D. Pick up notes. Let's do that again with the pick up notes. So we have a G arpeggio there from the D. Um, third phrase again. And the first ending. Let's do that again. Um, that takes us back around to start the A part again. ending is going to be similar but it's going to resolve. So in first ending goes to the G which is the um, the dominant the feeling of transitioning and moving um, back into the the beginning and in the second ending we we finish on C our tonic. So let's play um, slowly through both A parts. to the B part. I did want to just mention that I'm using my fourth finger to play a bunch of the A's. You can of course use open A as well, which would be like this. I would recommend leaving your third finger down. I like to use the fourth finger because it's got this nice light sound. And if I'm doing a drum, I can keep on the same string. use the open A if you want. Okay, so now the B part. Our pickup notes start on C. So that's our first phrase. Um, landing on the E for the first major note, but the pickup notes are C and D. Second phrase, similar again. So it's kind of the same pattern of sort of as the A part, but everything's a little higher up. Let's do the, those first two phrases together. One more time. The next phrase, pick up notes. And this is maybe the trickiest phrase. Because of that little ending, you have to jump third finger across the strings. You can try and rock it. But that's kind of sloppy. I have trouble getting my finger over there. So I just pick it up. Let's do that phrase again. So third phrase. And the first ending. And 
I love this ending. Both the fact that it doesn't do the dotted rhythm that you're now by now expecting. You've done da ba da ba ba da da ba da ba ba da ba da ba 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 ba. And then we have nice and even. And then these other favorite notes of mine, um, which I. Uh, got from the Orzachowski family in New Hampshire. I hadn't played it this way and I heard them play it this way and I said I want those notes and so now I play it that way too. And though that becomes the introduction to the quote-unquote second time through the B part. Um, it really to me feels like we're still just going and that this is just um, sort of some repetition within a single long B part. So you can think of it however way you want, um, whichever way you want. I recommend just listening to it and it'll get stuck in your head, I think. So that first ending becomes... I'm sorry, that was the third and fourth phrases. Um, the third and fourth phrases at the ending, we're going to go back, of course, then the real ending, that hop and the actual ending. This is also a little counterintuitive for um, me anyways at first. Ending on C, but to get there is a little different. So that second ending from the third phrase So we'll play both B parts, and then I'll play the whole um, whole thing. Macaulay and Squeeze Box.